Hello there, my piratical friends, and welcome back to our campaign with uh, our Lord and Master Lufor Harkon. So, once again, as usual by now, I have played a few turns off camera to, well, to deal with the more tedious stuff that I, I'm sure you would be bored by, including my uh, rebuild, my rebuilding of... Uh, our faction leader's army. As you can see we did modernize a little bit. We have two units of rotting Prometheans, two units of Morn Ghouls, and two units of Sirenes. Also some very some very high level pirate deckhand mobs with pole arms. And of course the mortars you already knew. Now what happened in the last few turns is that our orky friends here from the Blue Vipers have become increasingly more powerful. They currently rank at number 2 in strength on the entire map. And this faction of Lizardmen, Quetza, yeah, Quetza, has been steadily declining in power. Probably because they're fighting with uh, the Skaven from somewhere in this Fog of War E area. I'm not sure why, but, I mean not why, I'm not sure how well they're doing or not doing, but I've decided to take advantage. So I'm gonna leave this army here to continue raiding, because it's a shitty army, for now. Um, since I've uh, upgraded the Harkon's army, our income has taken a dip. But even so, I do intend to raise a third army and make it a more, uh, well line army so to speak that I can actually engage other stuff with it and hopefully once we conquer this province the river Querveza we are going to be able to do exactly that because one main army and one half of an army is not exactly enough to actually well you know neither expand nor properly defend our growing kingdom so with that being said, I'm gonna take uh, our faction leader and I'm gonna move him towards this province, the River Querveza. I'm not sure if this is actually a ruin or a conquered uh, Skaven settlement, but we are going to find out next turn. I've also been using my agent to <laughs> block this guy here, so he doesn't get to attack my small army in the north. Guess I wasn't so lucky this time. Uh, that will take quite a bit if five freaking turns. So oh, well. He can't reach me in one turn from there, but... I guess we'll see. Because whatever he has here, he can probably beat this shitty army. I'm gonna... I'm gonna end the turn and we'll find out. I can run. So it's not like I'm stuck there if he attacks me. This province has been uh, has been still losing public order. It's on it's stable now for a change, but it's been a pain in the ass to maintain public order. I'm not sure if there's like an agent that I can't see fucking around and uh, diminishing vampiric corruption, but it's not going as well as I would have liked. Also, the the colonial power here has been uh, gaining strength in armies. I think they're gonna attack the orcs. This guy gained the raider trait because he's been raiding for like forever. Also, Skaven denial. <laughs> there is no such thing as Skaven. Surely you jest. So he he she loses leadership when fighting against Kaven. That's that's silly because they don't exist, obviously. But also, also it's a bit funny. So we are going to explore this thingy here and see what we can find. Yeah, I knew there was like something fishy there. 
The question is, do we want to wage war on the Skaven? Do, that is. I mean, everyone else is hostile anyway. Count Noctilus Ray. The sea has only one. They hate me. I don't know why. I mean, we are... We're all pirates. Can't that be like... Can't that give you like a, a small boon to relations? I mean, you literally can't do any diplomacy with anyone else. Except the Skaven, apparently. But... But now the Skaven are in the way. Ay, ay, ay. I guess Chakwa here is another Skaven settlement. And they have a full freaking stack here, right? It's not like I can just crush them. Probably they can actually beat me there, I think. So, I guess not. But now that I know they're there, can I actually... Can I? I can't. Because I need a trade route from their freaking capital. Oh well. Well, I guess we can always fight the orcs. And colonize this thing here too. I haven't come all this way to leave empty-handed. So I will... I will try to beat these guys. These lizard men. Before I probably go and colonize that other thing. And if possible, I will make an unaggression pact with the Skaven, because everyone knows the Skaven are the most honorable and trustworthy of races. I can't do much else. Since I don't know where that army went, or if it's still there, I... I will retreat for now, back to here. At least I can get some a bit of public order. And I can get them like at least a few s better units. I have sailed the world. If nothing else. Like I do have like a buff that grants me extra experience to infantry. So maybe I should take advantage while I can. What settlement upgrade? Can I upgrade these though? Yes, I can. And I will build this. Just for my... Um, well... My safety of mind. I can't move him anymore. Well, I can a little bit more. And then next turn, we are gonna attack Axlotl. Which is well defended for such a... Well, it is a capital, but it still seems like a small town. Hexoatl also, I might have neglected mentioning, has been growing and growing in power. Like, they're, I'm at one-fourth of their overall power. And that, that is freaking scary. Thankfully, I do have the blue, whatever this faction is called, the blue vipers as a buffer between me and them. Also, they have almost a full army there. They're not, they're not helpless. I don't know what these guys are trying to pull. I mean, I think they're trying to attack the, the blue vipers, but being the AI, they take forever to do the most basic thing. Okay, I guess it was time for a negative buff for once. Not a great moment, but... I guess we can uh, take this for lower armor because we need weapon strength more, maybe? Headhunter's Jungle. 
This army here is... Well, it's not a strong army, but... Everyone knows the biggest uh, strength of the Skaven is in numbers and not quality of troops. My so we are going to move here. I'm not at war with them yet, so that's the good news. This army here is probably not that strong, but the fact that there's two armies and Quetzal, Quetzal's garrison, I should say, makes this thing kind of hard to attack. I also said I would make a third general or captain to take, take on some advice of uh, just picking up treasure and get extra money. To be honest, that's not a bad idea. I think I'm gonna do this now. I do need one that doesn't lose uh, loyalty fast. Mastermind, maybe? Because this guy is not gonna be getting into any battles anytime soon. I think we're gonna take Jackie the Clotter and of course rename her. Yeah. Yeah, I think she'll do. Even if it's gonna screw over my income. And we are going to... Three. Seems legit. We are going to rename her into Captain Dubious. The person I'm naming him after or her after, even though it's not a he, is is gonna know if he watches this. And hopefully Captain Dubious will not... Will not... Will not abandon us. What does she... Get... Jesus! Man, these debuffs are really... Are really annoying. Gain loyalty from sacking and raiding. Well, I can do raiding, I think. But for now, we're just gonna use her for getting, picking up treasure. Maybe I should have picked someone with lowered or decreased loyalty, decrease, whatever that thing is called. And we shall see how we can deal with uh, those two smallish lizardmen armies. I can't even start thinking how I'm gonna deal with this faction, but thankfully they're still kind of far away. I'll always be pissed by the fact that the AI is able to maintain armies out of literally nothing. I know it's a balance thing because otherwise the AI would probably get stomped over even more. But when the player can't maintain armies, when the player can't maintain barely half the armies that the AI can with the same amount of money, you 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 can begin to call bullshit on that. Also, there's two new pirate factions going to screw coming to screw me over. Because of course they were. And ironically, I can't even reach that damn thing, because those things will come and screw me, but... I can do this, put her there, and then next turn I'm gonna pick it up and <laughs> run away. And hopefully they'll not catch me. But I can't this turn, because the silly rules.
So this town is not exactly well defended, unfortunately, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if they attack me here, if I'm gonna declare war. I mean, the Skaven don't want anything more to do with me. They I can't even do a military access because fucked up diplomatic AI. So I guess I'm gonna declare war on them. No, there's a... Yeah, there, it's gonna be difficult taking that, even with this better army. But I'm gonna try. At least they don't have allies. Oh boy, chameleon skinks, why not? I will try automatic first because I really, really hate sieges. I mean, I kind of like them when I don't have to deal with a bazillion ranged units. Enemy ranged units, that is. Of course, I lose my main melee units because, of course. Well, at least I conquered the damn thing. I can just sack it. And uh, well, this army is, is busted. I can occupy it to boost my growth, at least for the moment. And thankfully, I can re recruit them. Luckily. I did gain some extra cash though, so that's always good. Now, repair the town. Probably nothing else. Owning a settlement here is kind of pointless. I should also build another one of these infrastructure buildings. Casualty replenishment rates is one of my favorite, but campaign movement is good too. And again, I'll just take this because I do need more money. Lowers the upkeep of my units. And apart from that, I think I'm gonna do this for whoa more 200 more, unless I still need to do something here. I'm gonna upgrade this. I want I want the the rank three ports. That's what I'm pondering. So I already have a garrison there, so I think I'll upgrade this just for defensive sakes. What is your demand? Also, someone leveled up. King of the yeah, both of them did. Now here we are. I do want one of these one-time buffs, the arsonist one, because it gives me damage for mortars and uh, fire resistance. And I will get a Queen Bess unit at some point. Yes. That will be my third artillery. Royal and our Vampire Royal Captain... I should get... Uh, I don't know... More of this stuff? I did, got, I did get this and this. So... Maybe this against the single, single combatants? Kill enemy heroes and generals, or at least help, hopefully. I'm not gonna repair this because it costs too much. I'm gonna demolish it and see if I can build anything that gives me money next turn. I hear poison. Yeah, that's it for this turn. Let us see if we can survive. If Ketza doesn't come for revenge. Yeah, I, I am at war with those already, I think. So... My doom is coming sooner or later.
I guess I should also colonize that fourth uh, town from the Vampire Coast province. If only to enable the Edict. And also um, defend against uh, future Skaven attacks. I got a little bit more cheaper build and campaign movement range. That's very welcome. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I do have three mortar units because I gave uh, her one more. And they are moving and that's only a 14 unit army. But I'm still kind of fucked up here. I can build a forester shack. Though ideally I need this. Yeah, I don't know how to dislodge these caven from here, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's only clan rats with shields, so it's not a huge deal. They're all... They're all shitty infantry, basically. They're like medium tier units at best. But there's a freaking lot of them. That's the problem. <clears throat> I can enact a ritual, though. For attrition. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know. 3500, nah. I'm gonna take my agent though and do some uh, assault units and that will work out hopefully. Ah, uh, seriously? This time? Come on! That's so annoying. I mean, out of all the freaking. It was 50 50, not 10%. Come on! I'm gonna get the treasure now. Why, why can't I get the treasure? I mean, she is a lord. Thank the gods. I will wait because I have no army. A thousand is, isn't so bad. I'm also gonna explore the ruins for treasure. I've also encountered the Blessed Dread, which will hate me, like everyone else, because of course, or not. Holy smokes. Ah, oh, it's because they hate Itzatu, but really, a four, four settlement faction, which is actually friendly towards me? Yes, sign me up, sir. May I have another? Trade. Military access. Who are they fighting? It's a Southern Sentinels, Order of Lore Masters, and they are friendly with the the Skaven. I, I, that's fine for now. Straight is enough. I mean, the fact that there's a friendly faction there is still a good deal. Egg for your life. Do you want to be friends? Yes, thank the gods, finally. Do you want to trade? Of course not. Do you want non-aggression at least? You don't, but yeah. That's fine. I would, I would attack the hell out of this army if I wasn't like really battered. And what upsets me even more is that the replenishment rate is here is really shitty. On the other hand, I can send them here. I, I can send these guys here. And well, I can't. I can't raid this turn, but I will raid hopefully. I do have some money for an upgrade. And I sh should be able to upgrade this. Because here I have no more population. So yeah, I will upgrade this for an extra 200 income. Which is not... 
Which is not something so... Neglect. Which is something good. Yeah, that's what I meant. Man, Hexwattle seems to just grow stronger and stronger. I may not hear you over the voices. Okay, Lord Scroll, what are you? Defensive Alliance, okay. Well, at the very least, I can... If somebody else new attacks me, if like the Blue Vipers attack me, I'll be able to call on them. Oh, come on, there's two of those armies. This is what I hate about the AI in this game. It, it spawns bullshit out of nowhere. <laughs> like, literally two turns ago, they had just one army. I mean, the power... The power bar here was... Definitely in favor of me. And now they, they pull another army out of their ass. Because AI, of course. <laughs> the... The colonies here are um, are not doing so well, it seems. Yeah, this is the like the standard mission type where we can, uh, where it basically gives us a target and a reward if we kill it. And there's like varying difficulty. I've always done the Bretonian Merchant one because it's easy-ish. There's only like a 14, 14 unit army. I think this time I'm gonna go for the Norskan Raiders, because we have to pick one. And yeah, it's a small army. So these damn pirate factions, so annoying. Well, at least, yeah, no, he's at war with <laughs> He is at war with me too. I wonder if this um, this right affects uh, sea stuff too, like it gives att attrition to enemy armies caught in my sea regions, because I control the sea region, thankfully. Also, I'm going to use full speed. I'm probably gonna send this this. Uh, <laughs> Captain Dubious, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll rename someone else after you. If she dies. But free loyalty is not a great general to, to start an army with. Well, normally I would not be afraid of these armies, but as you can see... It's literally taking forever. To... To regen. I'm not sure why. I mean, on on my own provinces, it, it it's a lot faster. I don't know why. Is it because of the vampiric lack of vampiric corruption? Does it say? I don't know. Maybe I should build a building that gives you extra. If that building even exists for the pirates, which it apparently does not. I guess I should build this here, just in case they attack me and I'm not ready, because... Yeah, I'm... I am listening. I'm not going anywhere, because... <laughs> I am really badly mauled. I hate attacking things when I'm at half strength. The other hand, while those armies are down, I can raid some more. Gain 160, 160 extra income. Admiral of the fleet. I think one of my agents is gonna come back soon. I got two of them and they were both critical failures. Can I give these guys a war target though? Yes, I can. Yes, war coordination. And go for that. 
Let's see if that works. Also, the blue vipers apparently hate me less. I can't trade with them, but still. Uh, where were those guys? The blessed dead? No, dread. What do you seek, ghoul? My deference? Military access? No. What about the dread blade now? What about the drowned? Do you still want an aggression? No, you don't. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Those can stay there and raid. Yeah, the Gunnery White is finally back. Praise Sigmar. Or Nagash, I guess, closer. I can wound one of their agents, but it's kind of pointless. Maybe I should try to block this guy so he doesn't come as reinforcements. Holy shit, it works. For once. Yeah, block... I'm gonna give uh, success chance a bit more, so he doesn't get critical failure that much. Sorry about that. Another phone call I wasn't expecting, but some things you just have to pick up. I do apologize for the interruption. Anyway, uh, yeah, this guy still recuperating, and I end the turn again. I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to attack them this episode, because regenerating in this region takes forever for some reason. You smell worse than my decomposing... Okay, they have the calling. No, trade. Finally, someone contacts me with something other than declare war. Thank you, followers of Nagash. They they dissolved the trade deal a while before. And uh, I guess now they reconnected or something. I'm also really kind of getting kind of scared of these two armies here because I can't take them both at once. Gentleman Jenkins is strolling around as usual. Our general here, or captain, made another level, or gained, I should say. I do think I should give her, like, some unit buffs, because I am going to use her as a general at some point. So, defense. Yeah, this is like a universally good uh, trait, I think. Well, something to put points into. Because no matter what army you'll be using, unless it's like a 100% meme army, you will be using deck hands. Either ranged ones or meat shields. Because you do need some numbers. You can't have an all Promethean and Necrofex Colossus units. Army, that is. My madness is not weakness. Yeah, I'm still I'm still getting fucked by the regeneration thingy. If I leave, I'm gonna lose the town. Now that that's a big deal, because I never came here to conquer the province. Well I did, but there's Kaven, so bomber. Even if I take these, the other ones are gonna come, so I'm not sure what my, what I should do here. Maybe ret maybe retreating is the best choice. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Better retreat than lose the army. I mean, as and I can't I can't my it's so annoying. I can't enter encampment stance, I can't continue regen because I'm fucking stupid and I didn't... yeah. Okay, let's uh, exit warp speed 
and see what we have here. Yeah, 1,000 more. It's not a huge deal, but still. 1,000 is 1,000. Yeah, they're gonna take this back. Though maybe I can uh, go round with uh, Harkon and come back and attack Quetzal. Who knows? Can I raise anything good? I cannot. I think, yeah, there's like sp special points if there's like a massive battle there. And there's a lot of dead. You That spot becomes a raised dead spot where you can get actual good units and not the basic ones. Uh, yeah, I would like to upgrade these, but I'm not sure. I mean, I don't have ports here, so... But yeah, at least I can, I'll be able to upgrade this if I upgrade this, so yeah, I should be good. We can also, we also have a slot available. With Lana Rogers, I think she's gonna be... And there's a lot of good stuff here, but she's not a. She's actually a shit. She has a shitty army that has no purpose yet other than raiding, so I don't want to give her something that benefits the army. So yeah. Fleet Treasurer sounds universally useful. Plus 400 income just for that. That is awesome. This guy. I'm not sure. Should I? Should I? Yes, success again. Uh, yeah, I will. I will pick the this bonus. Problem is, they're gonna attack before this is done, so I won't have a lot of uh, defenders there. I'm also probably gonna end the episode soon, and if there's a siege, I'm gonna do it the next episode. Uh, the friend who just called me wants me to go with him to the mall for some uh, medical stuff. So, uh, I might have to cut this short a bit, and we will continue, of course, the next uh, episode. Now, Itza has... has is my equal and military strength. I just hate the ability of the AI, like I said before, to spawn. Well, not to spawn, but to have money out of nothing to, to maintain armies that it shouldn't be able to. Also, another debuff, debuff here. Uh, shipbuilding all armies... Yeah, I'm gonna pick this because I'm not gonna build anything from our leader, leader's ship buildings anytime soon. I'd rather have that than extra building time for everything else. And surprisingly, they didn't attack me. Not sure why. And this is fairly well defended. I think with this I can defend from one of these. Though I, I wouldn't, like, guarantee it. Damn, even in freaking Skavenland, my, my region rate is better than that damn town. I'm gonna come from the other side, I think. I'm gonna put them in this stance. Troops replenish per turn, but why? The, the replenishment rate used to be so much higher. Is it because these units are like uh, way less numerous? So when there's one of 160, it's normal to have what? 
like 20 units regain per turn, but with these you have get like one of them every three turns. Maybe I'm, there's something I'm missing. Probably that. Is it time? Build the sails. Also, uh... don't be a fool. On the oh, the Skaven owned that too. Lucky me. I'm not liking the Skaven anymore. Flotilla. Can I kill them? Do you want trade? No. Why? Why don't? Never mind. I mean, I would like to have some allies in the form of the Skaven. You have my attention. The question is, what do not order me? But they're like in the most incon inconvenient position I could ever imagine. Now, if only these these armies here, the Skaven and these two Lizardman armies, would would <laughs> cancel each other out, I I would be so happy. Also, horde of booty. And I will probably end the episode after this turn. Like I said, I have to go out for a bit. I am recording this episode uh, in the same afternoon as the last two episodes. So... Uh... I am a little bit tired. I think you can also. Uh, I think you can also uh, see it in my voice or hear it better. I am uh, sounding a bit ragged, but then again, I have been talking for like two hours. <clears throat> yeah, they're besieging it. Both of the armies, ironically, the mad took over. And we are not going to see the siege this turn, I think. But uh, I will I will fight it manually when it happens. Unless they're going to siege it for like 10 turns and then take it when I've suffered all the attrition damage. As you were, keep moving. But while they're busy there, I will do my best to attack them here at Quetza. And... Uh, See if we can't take that advantage. This... This uh, recruit a general and use it for just getting treasure. Kind of epic fail. We did get two though. Probably gonna die next turn from uh, Mad Mulletson. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I'm sorry again for the non-gaming stuff that uh, happened for a few minutes there. Uh, I do try to avoid interference from the outside when I'm recording these, but let's just say privacy is not a 100% thing here, especially when I'm recording gameplay. So every now and then I will be interrupted, unfortunately. Anyway, thanks, thanks again for watching and as usual, if you have any suggestions or comments or thoughts, do feel free to write them in write them in the comments below. And I have been GDN and I will see you in the next episode.